but we'll kind of transition from there as we close out here with the Royal Rumble predictions going forward into Saturday night. Very much looking forward to the show. Always one of the best pay-per-views of the year. Hopefully this year is no exception. Uh, we'll get to the undercard matches first. We've got four undercard matches. And I say undercard. Two of them are, three of them are championship matches. Two of them being uh, for the Universal Championship and the WWE Championship. Then the two Rumbles. Becky Lynch, Dewdrop, Raw, Raw Women's Championship. I will talk about the rumor and who Lynch could be facing at WrestleMania a little bit later on. I won't spoil that here. Um, spoiler alert for when we talk about that a little bit later on. But Becky's got to win here, right, dude? I mean, this is going to be an easy win for her. I like the idea of the match. It should be a good match. Dewdrop is impressed in this role. I hate the name, but her as a heel, she's been clicking. I like it, and I like the match. But either way, you know, regardless of my thoughts on that, Becky's got to win here. Yeah, Becky's going to win here. I think they've done well, though. Like you said, I thought the segment on Monday was good with her and Dewdrop, like the sit down. Um, they've made her a little bit more credible being a heel. It's a perfect Royal Rumble match, like for Becky to get a win and move on. Um, but Becky's got to win here. Yeah, no, Becky's definitely got to win here. Edge and Beth Phoenix, same thing. I feel like this is a, a must-win situation for them. I do not want to see the extension of this feud. Edge already beat Miz. There's no reason to continue that. It's going to be Miz and Maurice versus Edge and Phoenix. Again, the build's been well done. Simple, solid stuff. Nothing really too great, but it's been fine. Um, Edge and Beth got to win on Saturday, so Edge can move on to bigger and better things going into WrestleMania, I think. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I kind of fear that Miz and Maurice are winks. They're going to draw it out even longer, but I hope Beth and, and Edge win here. Yeah, no, they got they got to end this here so uh, Edge can move on. And I don't even know what else you would do, Edge and Miz again. Like again, he already beat him, so I'm good on that. Uh, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. I think there is a decent chance Rollins could win. I think Reigns will win. He's my ultimate pick here, but I wouldn't underestimate Rollins. I mean, there is a chance he could win, bring that championship to Raw, and then you know Roman wins the WWE title from Brock. Or I, I don't know, they could figure that out. Or Rollins goes to SmackDown because they need the star power or whatever. Again, wouldn't do that, um, but I still think there's a chance Rollins could win. That being said, Roman's been champion for so long. I mean, it would be typical WWE to have Roman break the record and then take the belt off of him right afterward. I mean, they, they've done that before. Um, but I would definitely keep the belt on Roman, at least through WrestleMania, and I think that's going to be the case. Yeah, I'd have Roman win here. The only person that should beat him at this point is Brock. If he loses the Rollins, if I, would, like, I feel like his mystique would go away. And I mean... Not that I would ruin him versus Lesnar, but I feel like it wouldn't mean as much if he just lost to Rollins. Yeah, so. I mean, yeah. I, mean I, I want Roman to beat Brock when they eventually face off, even though he already did. I know he probably won't, but I don't think that match means as much if it's for a championship that Brock has held since January 1st. Whereas if Brock is challenging Roman, that's a title that's been, that Roman has held since August of 2020. I feel like the stakes are a lot higher if it's for that championship as opposed to Brock's WWE title. Completely agree. On that same note, WWE Championship dream match finally come to fruition here, finally becoming a reality. Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley. Now, this one's interesting. I just, I can't, I, I just, my pick is Bobby, if only because I think Brock's going to win the Rumble. But, like, if that wasn't the case, I would say Brock's going to win. So, it's a weird thing where I can't visualize Bobby beating Brock, but I feel like it has to happen in order to set up Brock's Rumble win, which I don't want to see. I just feel like it's almost guaranteed to happen. Um, I, I don't think Brock wins and then Brock wins the Rumble. That would be ridiculous. I think they, if they wanted to do a title unification match, they could do that without pulling that shit. I mean, I guess you would kind of have to do that shit because you can't have someone win the Rumble and then knock over the championship if it's a title unification match. But anyway, um, I, I think Bobby's got to win here and I think you could do it in a way where, I mean, listen, I would love for him to beat Brock clean. I don't think that's going to happen. I think Brock will lose maybe after Paul Heyman accidentally cost him the win or the Usos get involved or whatever. But either way, I think Bobby should walk out here, especially the, the biggest thing is they've had Brock completely downplay Bobby up to this point, like saying Bobby who? If Bobby goes in there and loses, typical WWE, it's like it completely buries this guy. You can't do that, which I'm not saying they won't. Good chance they could. I don't think they will, though. I think Bobby walks out some way, somehow, the new WWE champion. What do you think? I mean, <laughs> I just feel like besides Brock, I don't, I couldn't think of anyone that could actually win the Rumble. So I now, I don't know. I don't want Brock to win though. So, um, I, fuck. I, I guess I'll go with Bobby too. I mean, I don't want Brock to win the Rumble. I feel like he doesn't need it, but I guess. I mean, I think it'd be even dumber if he won and then won the Rumble. That'd be just so stupid. <laughs> so, if he's gonna lose, at least Bobby won the belt, but. Uh, I just feel like there's no like clear cut winner but him. Like I feel like he's the only person that like it, at, like makes any sense. 
So I feel like he has to win the Rumble. <laughs> Exactly. I don't know. I could totally see. My prediction is that they open the show with Brock and Bobby. I really want it to be a competitive match. I don't think it will be, unfortunately. I'm kind of getting my hopes down for it because this is WWE and they just... I really don't want to set my expectations too high knowing how they typically function or structure Brock matches. But I think it opens the show. Bobby wins somehow. And then Brock comes back out of the end and wins the Men's Rumble. We'll get to the Men's Rumble at the end here. Yeah, but Um, the thing is... If you're saying, like, the Usos could possibly screw him, then why wouldn't Brock screw Roman later on? Um, yeah. Or, or like, realistically, if, say, that Roman, or, like, if they if he loses and Roman's so scared of him, then why wouldn't he just try to avoid him, like, eliminate him from the Rumble? I don't know. I like, honestly, I'd, I'd rather that happen. Like, if they screw him, he goes in the Rumble, and then still Roman somehow gets in- involved, screws Brock from winning the Rumble, and then we have someone else win. And then, so then we have Brock and Roman because he screwed him out of the championship and screwed him out of the Rumble. <laughs> and, stone, and then we get someone else and they can face Bobby. It's not happening. That's yes, definitely sir. they're not going to screw Brock twice. At, at yes. that point, at that point, don't even put him in the Rumble. Ugh, I don't want him to win. That's <laughs> awful. Let's talk about it right now. Brock wins. LOL. I mean, literally, look at the other options here. Who are our other choices? Biggie. I don't see that happening. My thing is, is that I said on hashtag. We've discussed this before. Whoever wins the Rumble has got a main event mania, and I don't think that's Biggie. I think it could be. I don't think it will be. Drew makes the most sense out of anyone aside from Brock. He's currently hurt. Could he be back? Yeah. Um. Could they do Brock, Roman, and McIntyre? Yeah, but we already got a triple threat with Roman last year. We've got a lot of triple threats. I, I don't really want to see that. I think Drew's probably... <laughs> I think Drew's going to face Baron Corbin at WrestleMania anyway, which is just awful, but I, I'm expecting that to be the case. And then we said this the other day. You texted me, and I agree. People really saying AJ Styles? I don't see it, dude. I don't. Could AJ face the WWE champion at Mania? Yeah. Could it be AJ and Bobby? Sure. I don't think AJ's main eventing WrestleMania, although he should. I don't think he will. So... I I don't think, I don't even think they position AJ as a top guy anymore. He's just kind of a mid card dude at this point in their eyes. I mean, he's still a star, but he's just not on the level of the other people I just mentioned as far as the booking goes. So again, back to what I said originally, my original point: Brock wins. LOL. I don't want it, but I, I <laughs> it happen honestly. I, I think it's because, like you said, the problem is there's like really no one else. Not even like like AJ, but like I just feel like he's not positioned to win the Rumble. Like this doesn't make sense. Drew, he's her, and maybe he'll be back, but like I said, he's doing the happy Corbin shit right now. I don't really want to see a triple threat. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'd honestly rather Breaker enter and, and win than have <laughs> Obviously, and, yeah. And you can laugh all you want, but I mean, I just, I honestly, if that's what I was, I'd rather him win than, than Brock. No, I agree. Brock, Listen, I would rather win. see that. thing is, like, he doesn't need to win. Like, their match is like, the thing is, Brock was supposed to face Roman. Roman got COVID. So it's like the match is already made at that point. Like, I just don't understand why Brock needs a win because it's not going to, like... <laughs> I'd rather literally him not win and have Braun win and face fucking Bobby. And then you still do Roman and Lesnar and then you have Braun and Bobby. I, the, uh, only, the only thing I don't like... Gonna it's going to be Brock. We know it's going to be Brock, but it's <laughs> worth fucking wishing okay here's the thing though what i don't like about that is that whoever wins the rumble except for brock is not main eventing mania so i feel like it devalues the men's rumble if the women are going to main event mania on night one which they i think it should be a women's main event and then a men's exactly what they did last year i think that's what they got to do and they're also advertising it as that not to say they can't go against it but i just feel like whoever wins the men's rumble has got to main event one of the nights and i don't think it's going to be let me check my notes braun breaker i i would listen i would love that i would love it or aj or fucking anyone else but I just think Brock is winning because they want him to main event Mania with Roman and that's how they see them setting up the match I played the fifth <laughs> I'm just getting my anger out of the way now and my frustration no I don't I just you know? feel like, like no the thing is the worst part of what's gonna happen which is even worse is he's gonna beat Bobby clean as a sheet and the rumble and win and then he's Stop. gonna face Roman no that is where I would get extra upset because that is absolutely ridiculous that's what's gonna happen that's what's gonna happen he's gonna beat Bobby clean as a sheet and the rumble at 30 and win and we're all gonna be like what the fuck that, you know what though I don't count them I do not I, I would not put it past them at all I would not put it past them. And could that be the end of the show? Who knows? Because in the women's rumble, we got a rumored return. Let's talk about this. Uh, I, what I like about the women's rumble, a lot of potential winners here, dude. Unlike the men, I think. There's a lot of women that make sense to win. Not only people I think could win or want to win, 
Bianca's still my odds on pick. I know we're getting rumors right now of none other than Ronda Rousey coming back. Very good chance she wins on Sunday and comes back. Very good chance. Unfinished business with, with Becky. This company doesn't care about long-term storytelling. I could see a situation where they were planning on Becky and Bianca, okay? They were planning on that. And then what happened was they're like, oh, fuck, we, get, we, we think we can get Ronda back? Sorry, Bianca, we're giving your spot to her. I don't think they do a triple threat. I don't think they should do a triple threat. We already got Becky and Ronda in a triple threat three years ago. Again, enough with the triple threats. Um, I think it just makes more sense to have it be Ronda and Becky straight up or Bianca and Becky straight up. I think the fuck over Bianca would be stupid. At this point, Just, just I'm fine with her being a repeat winner because it makes sense for her character. She's still over. It makes sense... I don't know. I want just be, I, I I like Ronda Rousey. I think I'm in the minority there, but I just I think it completely fucks over Bianca if she doesn't win. I don't think Bianca's going to smack them to face Charlotte. I think if Rhea won, she could win and go to WrestleMania to face Charlotte. I think that's possible. But again, I think whoever wins the Rumble for the men, for the women is going to face Becky in the main event. And again, I if Rhea wins and faces Charlotte. I don't think that's main event thing. So that's that. Alexa Bliss, no thanks. The current character is awful. I don't even know if she'll be in it. I like Alexa. I just that's a hard no for me. Charlotte, hard no. Uh, Bailey coming back and winning. I've seen some people say that. I don't even know Bailey's going to be back, but if she is, Bailey could be in it and not win. I don't think Ronda's going to be in it and not win. I think Bailey could be in it and not win. I don't really want to see Bailey win. We've already seen her and Charlotte and her and Becky a million times. I feel like not her and Becky so much, but still, um, I don't think that's going to happen. So it really, to me, comes down to Bianca or Ronda. And I'm going to stick with my guns and say Bianca, but I'm curious what your thoughts on the whole Ronda Rousey situation are. Yeah, I mean, I did see that Ronnie, Ronnie's rumor to come back, but uh, I, I hate back-to-back winner. I do not want Ron- Bianca to win again. Right when you it's, said I'm like, didn't she just win last yeah, year? Yeah, but it hasn't been done in 25 years at this point, and I think with her, it's a, not like a Roman Reigns thing where I'm fucking sick of Roman. I'm not sick. I mean, I, I was sick of Roman when he could have won a couple of years ago. I'm not sick of, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not sick of Bianca, and I think it just makes sense. I'm okay with it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't love that idea. I mean, it's storyline wise, it makes sense because I feel like all the cards kind of point to her and Becky again. But I don't know, and I don't want a triple threat. I mean, as they screwed up the last time, it should have just been Becky versus Ronda the first time, but they had to throw Charlotte in there because God forbid. So, um, I don't know. I think it's between Bianca or Rhea. Um. I'm going to go with Rhea because I don't want Bianca to win again. I wouldn't, like, totally hate it, but I don't know. I don't love when people, like, re-win stuff, like, again. Like, she's a tough – like, she doesn't really need because I feel like the story's there. Like, if she doesn't win it, I feel like all roads – unless Ronda comes back, all roads lead to her and Becky anyways, it seems like. So, yeah. eh, I don't know. I'm going to go with Rhea. I mean, I don't want Ron. I mean, if Ronda's in it, she's going to win, obviously. Yeah. But if not, I'm going to say Rhea. Are we going to have a rumble where both Brock and Ronda win like it's the UFC in 2012 or something, 20, 2010? I mean, it's possible. <laughs> I can only imagine the internet outrage. People just do not like Ronda, and I get it, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I just I don't know if that would make for, for great social media buzz the next day. Brock, to me, I'm already, I'm already assuming that, but I think Bianca, if she loses, I don't know what you'd do with her. What, does she go for the tag titles or something? I mean, I don't really want to see that at all, so... Um, the, only with, the only thing with Ronda, I feel like, I don't know, I just... Just yeah, wait, like, just wait, big, that's what I would say. Well, not even just wait, I just, like, she is a big deal, but, like, her star power and notoriety has gone so much, like, from where she once was to, like, when she came to, like, she's, like, honestly, like, she's dropped a lot, so, like, yeah, you know, she's a big deal to a point, but, like... Yeah, but she's she's a big star, maybe not in the grand scheme of things anymore, but definitely for WWE, she's a name. You know, for the for, for as far as like she's as big of a name as Goldberg is for this company, Ugh. and they need stars, and that's why. I mean, I want her back. I just don't know where she fits into WrestleMania without fucking other over other people. Yeah, I don't know. I, I... kids got me like on Bianca again. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna say Rhea though. I'm going with Rhea. Sticking with the guns with Rhea. Okay. So it's gonna be Rhea. She's gonna face Charlotte. So I'm saying Bianca. You're saying Rhea. Does that I mean? mean no, no, no. Can I take it back? Can I take it back? Yeah, she can take it back. I'm going to say Bianca because Rhea's going to eliminate Charlotte. Ah. Boom! Fuck yeah! Let's so, go. <laughs> you're saying we're getting... So this is what I want to see. You, you're thinking that we're going to get Rhea and Charlotte at Mania for the SmackDown title, and then yes. Becky and Ronda... Or Becky and Rhea for the... I'm sorry, Becky and... Becky and Bianca. Yes, Becky and Bianca for the Raw title. Yes. 
Yep. So that means we're actually going to get Ronda winning on Sunday, <laughs> and she's going to face Becky at Mania instead. But the show's on Saturday. I'm sorry, on Saturday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ah, and I can't wait to talk about it all with you next week, Mr. Marceau. Right here on Wrestle Rant Radio. New episodes every Ron week. Ronda's going to win and Bianca's going to be on the pre-show in the uh, <laughs> May Young fucking Battle Royale. And she'll win it like it actually matters. Yes. <laughs>